Heir to the Jedi is the third Star Wars novel written in the new canon. It's also notable in that it's the first novel written from Luke's first-person perspective. This makes the story unique in that it's smaller and more intimate. Taking place soon after the Battle of Yavin, Luke is still young, he's kind of goofy and full of self-doubt. The story is at its best when Luke takes strides in training himself in the Force. It starts to bridge the gap between A New Hope, where he's only just learned about the Force, to The Empire Strikes Back, where he's at least able to call his lightsaber to his hand. It's captivating watching him attempt minor feats in the Force. I was happy for him when he succeeded, and I felt his disappointment when he failed. The plot was just okay in my opinion, but this is a book more about Luke's growth than it is about a huge adventure with galactic consequences. As I said, the story is more intimate. The plot is made up of these small, almost RPG-type tasks Luke has to complete in order to proceed and level up. I don't mean to say that the plot is bad, it's just very obviously a character-driven story. Overall, the book is a success, and a nice look into Luke's thoughts and feelings. That's it for today. Be sure to like and subscribe to see new Star Wars videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if there's a specific Star Wars topic you'd like me to cover, please leave it in the comments, and I'll do an episode about it. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.